Yesterday, Beneath Curse Sands came out on uh, April 27th. Today's the 28th. I went ahead and did the quest so I could get my quest cape and music cape back. Also, I wanted to test out this new Karis spear thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. It can kind of reminds me of the old, like, Sarah Doman staff or whatever it is, Staff of Light. Now, I don't know if this is going to be, like, meta for raids. I don't know if it's going to be meta for Calphite Queen. So, I thought I would go ahead and test it and just show you guys what it's like to use it on Calphite creatures. Also, uh, like, the Calphite Guardians and stuff in case you're doing a slur task and don't want to do KQ. If you're watching my channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. It would really make my sick dog happy. The first thing I want to do is lay down some dragon... Okay, can we try this again? The first thing I'm going to do is lay down a dragon warhammer special and let's just see if this thing shreds or not and then I'll try it without the dragon warhammer. This is not looking good so far. Come on. Come on. You can do this. There's a 30. Okay, I'm not optimistic. Uh, maybe this is going to be meta for something in raids. So far, not looking good. I mean, I know KQ is one tanky, tanky old girl, but she a thick girl. She definitely a thick girl. Look at those those legs there. And the Karis is not giving her... Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, what do we got here? There's something in the chat. You slip your weapon through a chink in the creature's something. Landing a vicious blow. I haven't been here in so long. I'm getting poisoned now. Okay, so something's throwing me off here. I mean, yeah, I think someone, someone at Jamflex has an attraction to KQ, and not in the way you and I do. I mean, I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comments. That that text there is a little, uh, a little questionable. This boss is so G though, man. I remember back in the day, Sears Village, people selling dragon chains for like 80 mil. Obby shields, whips were the thing. I mean, whips are still the thing, but whips were even cooler back then. And people wore dragon med helms and it was cool. And dragon boots weren't a thing, but rune boots are still cool. If I need to tank you with no specs, I will, I swear. Come on, okay. We're just going to see how she does on her own then. It's not looking promising, guys. I have to say, I am not too, uh, like, over-thrilled by this thing. I think it looks really awesome. I wish it was useful at, like, Sire or Corp or something so I could use it elsewhere. But then I guess Zami Spears would be worthless. Okay, there's some good hits. And I'm getting smoked. I'm probably not even wearing the right gear for this. I don't remember. It's been way too long. You know, it is hitting high when it does hit. And I feel like that it's hitting pretty much the same as like, say, an anchor or a bludgeon or really anything else you would come down here with. And I think that benefit where it slips through, whoever made that up, nice terminology there. Uh, I think that benefit alone where it hits like triple damage or whatever, uh, that probably does make it worth it in the long run. Especially if you're getting like proper specs and using the proper range gear, unlike me. I think that you would probably have have a pretty good time down here with it so i'm gonna say it's probably pretty good for kq and we'll see about raids 3 when that comes out so i'm gonna give it one more go here and then we'll test it on calphite guardians looks like we're getting okay we landed double specs so we should be able to shred especially if we hit that triple damage all right so with two dragon warhammer specs we are definitely shredding oh yeah this is cake this is like cutting butter He's also, she's also cutting me like butter, but rest in peace, thick girl. That is all she wrote. So if you can land two Dragon Warhammer specs, you will be A-OK. -okay. I'm not sure if it's like worth it time-wise to run all the way back to your house and come back just to double spec it. I mean, if you want the peace of mind of it being easier to cut through or slip through, as they say, uh, you know, maybe it's worth it, but uh, you may want to get like, I think it's the Tyrannical Ring that helps land specs or one of those really expensive rings that I don't have. You know, if you're going to be here for a long grind, I wish I would have had that for all mine. You know, I didn't even have a Dragon Warhammer at the time. I got lucky. Someone recently, some random person at the GE sold me an Avernic for 15 mil. So that's the only reason I have that now. That's definitely a huge upgrade in my opinion because it's a good permanent, I guess, meta upgrade. going to try to do this with no prayer and we made it. I'm going to test this thing on the Calphite Guardians now and just see how it does. I have no idea. Um, Go in the Slayer Cave here. Oh, wait. I'm such an idiot. You can't kill these unless you're on a Slayer task. Yeah, I'm just going to come back to the Cow Fight Lair. That's probably the easiest place I know to find these things because I really don't ever do these. I mean, if I get them as a Slayer task, I always go back to that cave. So I totally forgot you You can't do it unless you're on an assignment. Give this thing a good bonk or two and see. Okay, so we'll see with double spec if it shreds here, which I'm sure if it can cut through Cow Fight, it'll cut through these or slip through these again no problem i just wonder if this thing is better than a tentacle or not i'm gonna do this one with no specs and see i don't really know well 
Okay, if, if we can get a 45, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I probably should have brought a tent for this, but you can at least see how it's doing on its own. I'm also not wearing max strength gear, so if I were coming here for this task, I'd probably be in like uh, at least a fighter torso and some obby legs because I can't afford bandos legs with it. I'm so poor, I still literally pick up all coins and runes and everything that drops on the ground. Uh, this this maxing thing is just killing me, guys. I need like I need like a solid bill, and maybe I would feel comfortable with it being able to like buy gear and actually train skills so you know i'm only 800 mil shy it's really not a big deal all right all right so she's doing pretty good there yeah i think that if you were to come with the slayer helmet piety and like max strength gear you would just like decimate these things so i'm not even in really the most efficient setup and i i think it's still doing good i do think this probably is the meta now for for killing cow fights so yeah that's my 50 cents it's probably not worth too much but at least you guys kind of get an idea for how this thing does and what it does and if it's good or not let's see how the dragon warhammer holds up to one of these does anyone actually use the dragon warhammer for anything other than special attacks or is that just all if she's good for i'm kind of disappointed you know like uh what was it a month or two ago maybe three i got my first and only dragon Warhammer at Wizardman and uh, I sold it for I feel like not very much maybe like 20 to 30 mil probably closer to 20 and now it's back up to like 45 I think with raids 3 coming out it's probably going to go up even more I've been holding on to a rapier just praying that it goes up and I can make some more money like I did off the uh the spectral spirit shield when the GE tax came out I made like 50 mil or whatever yeah the dragon warhammer sucks but the the pokey thingy seems to be doing art 65 wow I'm always amazed when the dragon warhammer hits like something insane it's really fun to use at abyssal sire because you know you're gonna shred after it hits but when it hits something just totally outrageous it's really awesome definitely one of the funner uh spec weapons to use i think the crystal halberd on corp though is one of the, the most satisfying when you hit like double 50s so that's gonna be all i'll let you guys make up your own opinion on what you think about this thing but i think it's okay overall it's not bad uh it's not super exciting i think it probably is gonna be the meta now for killing cow fights that's gonna be all if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one